I'm Mary Hartnett with Siouxland Public Media News. At a National Governors Conference today in Washington, D.C., Governor Kim Reynolds said she's decided not to push for an interim step this year concerning taxes. Reynolds has set a goal of getting rid of the state income tax by the end of 2026. Reynolds and the rest of the nation's governors are meeting this weekend, and the governor made her comments at a forum today sponsored by the Cato Institute. Reynolds, who is chair of the Republican Governors Association, said 15 of her fellow Republican governors are proposing tax reductions in their states this year. Reynolds has signed three tax cut packages since taking office in mid-2017. Iowa's Attorney General is joining two dozen states in a challenge to new federal regulations on pistols with stabilizing braces. The states are suing to block a gun control action touted by President Joe Biden. That's after the accessories were used in two mass shootings. Brenna Byrd is one of several Republican attorneys general to have joined conservative and gun rights groups. The president wants to treat the guns like short-barreled rifles, a weapon like a sawed-off shotgun that has been heavily regulated since the 1930s. Lutheran Services in Iowa will use a $35,000 Iowa Women's Foundation grant here in Sioux City to expand its in-home child care provider training for refugee and immigrant women. LSI's child care business development was founded in 2012 to address a gap in appropriate child care options for refugee and immigrant families. LSI says Sioux City is home to its second resettlement office in the state and that there is a need for culturally appropriate child care that fits the schedules of refugees and immigrants in the area. And for the first time in five years, the unions representing Sioux City's teachers and various other staff are negotiating their full contracts. Yesterday, the Sioux City Education Association and Sioux City Education Support Personnel Association presented their opening proposal for next year's master contracts. The SCEA proposed a 6.6% base salary increase and an $800 increase to longevity pay. The percentage increase would result in a $2,500 base pay increase. That's a look at Siouxland Public Media News. I'm Mary Hartnett. Have a great weekend.